Hello there, in this video, we will be discussing how to qualify, is the poll well formatted, on the UHRS HIT app. First off, let's take a look at the layout of the poll. A well formatted poll should be easy to read and navigate. The questions and options should be clearly defined, and the grammar should be correct. So, let's get started with the qualification process. First read the guidelines carefully before attempting the qualification. Remember, you have only two attempts. Here's an example of a poorly formatted poll. The question and options are jumbled together, making it difficult to read and understand. It's important to pay attention to details like this when qualifying polls. So, the answer is a big no. On the other hand, here's an example of a well-formatted poll. The question and options are neatly organized, making it easy to read and understand. The grammar is correct, there are no spelling mistakes. So, it is a well-formatted poll. In this hit app, the grammar is okay, but the three answers are almost the same. It is duplicated answers. So the answer would be no. Here is a good poll, the sentence and the answers are good. So, the answer is yes. Now, look at this question, what is cake history? It isn't a poll, it is asking for an answer. The answer to this type of question is always no. Here is a good poll, the sentence and the answers are good. So, the answer is yes. The question and options are neatly organized, making it easy to read and understand. The grammar is correct, there are no spelling mistakes. So, it is a well-formatted poll. Now, take a look at this question. This can lead to multiple answers. You can't answer this with a poll. It is possible that you have watched more than one movie.
so the answer would be no again. This is again a question, not a poll. There can be many possible answers. So, the answer is no. Now, take a look at this question. Remember when there is a particular answer to a question, it is not considered a poll. It is a quiz. The answer to this type of question is always no. Again, the same thing is here. And also the answers are not relevant too, there should be numbers instead of names. So, the answer is no again. Now, take a look at this question. It has a correct answer. So, the answer is no again. Here, the sentence is without grammar mistake. The options are good. So, the answer is yes. The question and options are neatly organized, making it easy to read and understand. The grammar is correct, there are no spelling mistakes. So, the answer would be yes. But wait, I don't know what meerkat is, let me google once. Oh, it is King Julian from Madagascar. I like to move it move it. I like to pet it, pet it. <laughs> Here's an example of unclear instructions. The instructions are vague, and it's not clear what is expected of the user. The recipe name is missing here. So, the answer is a big no. So, there you have it, folks. These are some of the key factors to consider when qualifying if a poll is well formatted on the UHRS HIT app. Thanks for watching, and happy polling!